Hey guys, so I know it's been a while, but uh, been going through life, been getting through it. But today, right now, we have something really special. We, as in me, have something really special to show ye. Oh. It's the Deluxe Time Robo and Time Shadow Black and Gold set. With handle, which is very quite lovely. Look at handle. But, uh, but let's get straight into it here. Look at this amazing box. And starting off, I think we might just do the five Time Rangers vehicles. So we have red, blue, green, yellow, and pink. But really it's black and gold, black and gold, black and gold, black and black. But so, let's get into it. So here's red. It looks very nice, very shiny. Uh, one thing to note is I have not applied stickers because I am afraid that 20 year old stickers will not hold on my robots. So blue and green are very similar except for their f fins and the molding on top. We've got a two here, and we've got a three up here. Very nice. All of them have metal landing gear, which is very cool. They roll, you know, robots roll, jets roll. And here we got four and five. Um, if you see in there, there's a, it looks like an F, but it's a four there. And over here, we've got the five. Very cool. So just on their own, the five here combine into three different things. We've got uh, the jet, which we will begin with. So the first step here is to just to remove the top here. Then remove these from four and five and combine. Boom on buddy, Urgh. like that. And you've got a little, little pod thing. Then you wanna take four and five here and slot them in to the back. You also wanna fold up Red's landing gear just for posterity. Take blue, close it, fold up the landing gear, pop, open, and then fold in. And he plugs right into the side here. Like that. And you do the same with green. And he also just plugs in on the side. Then fall first. He's got these little pieces here you fold up. And then these little lines here, they will peg into those new things you just made. And then down here in the gray, will just snap together. And then there you go. There's the, the time jet. Surely that's what that's called. Oh, no, it's not. I'm so silly. Then you take this piece from red and you plug it back in. And there you go. Awesome, chunky black and gold robot. Looks amazing. Looks sick. Rolls. Not very well. Maybe it's my table. Very cool. Very nice indeed. I think we'll go on to blue. Okay, so here you can see we've just got the Zord, the Zords back in their singular formations. And to start off, we'll take red. We'll pop this piece off again. It adds two points. That's the groin and this area here. And you've got them here. Just fold these down. Next, remove these again from yellow and pink. And what you want to do here is pull it down, uh, turn it so that the solid is forwards, and then there, you've got a leg. What you want to do is make sure that this has got a gold and a silver. I said that backwards. But you want to make sure the silver is at the front for blue mode or black mode here. Next, you just want to slip them in there, nice and easy, and then his legs connect together. Take green, open up these panels here, open up this, and then the fist will fold out. Rotate it, close, and then secure it back in. And then there's one, and here's blue.
and then <clears throat> plug her in. I got this literally yesterday and it's very stiff. And then, as we all know, the final step to any robot is revealing the head. Look at that. What a beauty. Okay? So we've got Time Robo Mode Blue. Um, these three pieces don't do particularly much at the moment. For the next mode here, you can uh, bend up this weird knot of sword and fold it and put it into pink. Into pink. So that's it. And then click it in. And take yellow. And click it like that. And then you can take this and just put it onto Blue's back. It will clip in using the same clips it did earlier. I swear to gosh. That's alright. But it does it, see? Just pretend. Let's all just pretend. No, it shouldn't be there anyway for that mode. Uh, Articulation wise, uh, no head movement. It's a Megazord, but full arm rotation. And elbows. Elbows is rare. Forwards and backwards. Very nice. Uh, I guess that's that's knee articulation, I guess. But you're not doing much with it. All Megazords stand very straight and very still, don't they? Uh, but I think we move right on to red after I tell you this fact. He does not include any weapons in this mode, but you can buy a separate set with their little jet flyer blaster. I think it's called the Flyer Magnum. Uh, that set runs for like 600 Australian dollars, so I guess we'll see what happens with that, but I currently do not have for it. red. I thought about going back to jet mode, vehicle mode first, but no, uh, we'll, we won't. So I always start off by removing the arms and folding up the head, and then I just put the, put the hands back, put the arms back. Fold up, close, and then fold that down, and fold this up. There's one leg, open this up and fold it. There's two legs there, right there, pretty cool. Move the legs, and so we've got gold here, this is the left shoulder. Rotate it, and then rotate the fist and fold it up like that. We'll do the same with this one. Gold, rotate, rotate. And then just click it up. And then finally, we take the main body of red and you click it and rotate it down. So you go leg, leg, arm, arm. Very nice. And then finally, Open the chest, and you pull out the head. And then on the back here, on e each side, there are these two things. And you just pull them together and bang, there's his face. Very nice. Now, as you saw before, we made this. And if you look on the back, there's this piece here. It's a shield. It's very loose and dangly, but he does have a shield. And also, inside these pieces of sprue, we have this. And you plug that in right there. So he's ready to... Oh! So he's ready to whip mutant butt. And you can fold it down like a silly clock. But there he is there, very nice. Lots of gold chrome, lots of shiny metal. Awesome. I think I prefer Time Blues. Oh. Blue modes, um, head and chest, or head at least, but I prefer red modes proportions. He looks more slender, I think. But um, I guess we'll go into Time Shadow for now, and then we'll get onto the uh, combinations. That'll be cool. So here we have the Time Shadow Zord, or Mega Zord, or whatever it is. It's a, it's a singular device. It comes with this big weapon, which 
uh, just pops straight off. You pop it off there, and then using this little T shape at the back, it slots into this little bit up here. But we'll take that and take it off to the side. It's got an on and off switch. We'll just turn it off for now. But here we have the time shadow in its like stealth bomber configuration. Very nice. Very cool. This is from like 1999 and most Transformers these days don't even get that thin as jets. I know he's got these chunky blasters, but again, they're like chunky blasters. He's also got rolling wheels, but they are plastic and not metal, but that's all right. It's got lots of metal in here. Look at all that shiny metal. Um, I guess we'll get straight into it. First, you want to just fold the landing gear up. Give me that, boy. All right, then you want to pop these down. And then, oh my God, it's messy. Fold these around like a, and clip them into the blasters on his legs. This is not clear. Oh my gosh. Ugh. And then clip the legs together and stand in there. Oh! Oh. Then clip him in. <clears throat> and that's him done. The Sky Shadow Megazord. No, so we'll keep going here. So pull everything up. And then but you pull that up. And then you slide. That was very... Right, then you pull the head up. And you just... That should be this way. Close in the chest. It's not doing it. There. And then clamp the body down, like so. Take the hands, spin them around, and you have to pull them down, and that'll activate the ball joint to give it tightness and articulation instead of just wobbly. So pull it down more and you'll, it'll click. And you just fold up these panels on the sides, and there. Uh, wait, there's one more step again. Ready? So he's got this blaster on the back of his head, and you flick it. There you go. Very cool. So, I would say he's one of the more articulated Megazords. Uh, still no head, of course. But, and a limited shoulder. But he can go out, and in and stuff, and full 360 rotation, an elbow. Elbows are rare. And then even, I know it's not much, but even hands, little blaster hands, so he can get you, bang, bang. His accessories, weapon-wise, he comes with these two swords. So that's one here, one here, and one here, and he's ready to get you. He'll chop you to bits. He'll get you. But even cooler still, if you take these, you can combine them together. And then that, again, sticks on his big hand. Now he's ready to super chop you. Oh, wobbly arm. There we go. He's good. He's good. He's good. Very cool. Very nice. Very cool. Very nice. <sighs> Let's continue on with the transformations now then, I guess. First, we're just going to put these away. Ooh. So you just slide into the legs here on either side. There's lots of little channels and solid points to plug them in, which is very cool. Very, very cool. Nope. I did it. I did it. Because I'm a cool guy. So we've got our time shadow, and I suppose we'll do time shadow Mo Red first, because... Here we have our red fella. Um, the instructions recommend just removing the arms, so I guess we'll do that. And then, for this bad boy, you just wanna, just wanna kinda get back to jet mode, sort of. Uh, and we'll pop his, pop his head back down. The way you put his head down is you spring load it, so you close it and then you lock it. 
which is very cool. <coughs> Pull that up and then I'll just leave it dangle for a minute. Next, fold these down, pop that and bring it down like that. Next, uh, we'll just rotate these as well, just cause it's easier. It's easier to deal with. You know what I mean? No. All right, so he's got these two pegs here and these two clips right down here. And you know what? He's going on them. He's going on them. Like that. Very cool. Then you want to take all this backpack junk. You want to rotate it. Well, first, actually. Yeah. You want to bring it all forwards and then these two clips either side of his waist come out of the wings. Oh, no. Pull that up. No. Oh, no. I don't know how to do it. Oh, no. There it is. I was worried I was going to make a fool of myself here, and I have, but they go around either side of his waist. And then this comes down, you rotate it, and drop it in. And, oh, what are you doing, mate? Get in there. Assemble yourself. Assemble yourself, buddy. There, okay. And then the chest will, like, slide into the metal and lock himself in further. Then finally, well not finally, but you put the arms back on. And uh, you also want to take these and rotate them. And rotate them again. And then the final step of this elusive transformation is that weapon we had earlier. First, you'll remove this off the end, turn it back on, and then rotate this. No! There's the button there. Rotate this. It makes the transformation sound, and now it's a sword. And we will just slip that right in there. Oh, final, oh, one more step. Rotate the feet. So he's got big old blaster feet. And then the final step here is we take the helmet and it's got these two little things and it just fits in between the triangle the, the, there very nicely. And uh, here we go. Here he is. Time Shadow Mode Red. Looks very sleek, very nice. I'm glad I don't have any stickers on it. That's stupid. I hate stickers. But he's awesome. He can hold his sword and lift it up and swing it around. I would not fight this guy. I would not fight this colossal robot. Uh, very cool. He can also hold the time sword. Dual wield that crazy shiz. Oh! Uh. You saw it. You all saw it. Or even the shield. He's a bit cowardice today. But he's looking very amazing. I love it. And then I guess from here, uh, I'll cut back to mode blue and we'll get from there. All right, we've just kind of left Time Shadow in that horrendous freak mode just because it's a bit easier on me because I'm a coward of these 20 year old toys. I don't want to hurt them too badly. But you know, we'll start off here just by ripping the arms off because that's how you do it. And then these were down before and we will make them down again flip these over i guess they're up now but he doesn't really have pegs he's just got holes like a sort of a gap where he'll plug in so just click click okay then he doesn't click into the back or anything but you will want to uh lock in his little seat belt And then, same as before, chest comes over, push it back in. And then we'll go left arm first. Is that in? No. That's in. Just make sure these are back as far as they will go. Yep. If 
of the feet back. And then with what I do here, I think it's kind of what the instructions tell me to do is flick it up and then kind of like rotate it in. And he doesn't really hold it very well, but he does, it sits in there. And then just click it on. And then finally, take the helmet, rotate out the horns. Ah! Ah! And just drop it on. Well, don't drop it in, but there. And there you've got mode blue. Oh, wait. Rotate this. And now you've got mode blue. Ah! Mode blue. It's very cool. I love the head. I love the gold shine. It looks awesome. He's got some gap between his legs. But he is not really moving much at all. Uh, with there he is. Limited articulation. Just the arms. I wouldn't even say shoulders. It's just, it's just done now. But uh, he's a very cool guy. And I've just got one more thing to show you. Just a little surprise. I reckon you'll like it very much. Very much. Okay, and what we have here is my winning combination. So take red mode legs and the blue mode body and snap them on. Snap them on. Oh, yeah. Do the same with the arms. I think that looks sick. I think that looks incredible. I think that almost looks like the Delta Megazord from Power Rangers in Space, and I like that a lot. But then, now, you can hold the sword. That's sick. So you ever see a cone robot with a sword? I haven't. It opens up, so you can look just as silly. You can hold the shield. You can do it all. And look up. And look, up. And look good. While he does it. While he does it. Ah. And then just to, I don't know, finalize things, we will also slip him in here. So just click him in. Click. I said slip him in. I said slip him in. Ew. Fold up the feet. Pull up the backpack. Pull up the secondary backpack. Lock him in. And then... Just push the chest in. Push the chest in. Sometimes it doesn't do it! No, it'll do it. It'll bloody do it. No. But that looks sick. And then finally, I take the horns, and instead of putting them on the front, I lay them on the back. And there he is. My ultimate robot. And I give him the sword. The super sword. Get in there. And his regular sword. And, you know, there's nowhere really for the shield to go, so... There. Pretty rad. Well, they have my thoughts on this very special guy. My grail of sorts. He's awesome. He's sick. He does it all. I've never had the real, or well, the original Time Robo slash Time Force Megazord, but I do have him. And for years, he's been somewhat of a grail for me until... Like two weeks ago when someone had him for 200 Australian dollars in Japan. I was like, all right, I'll cop that. And I did. And now I own this beautiful robot. So, sucks for anyone else, but he's mine. Peace out, ladies and gents and my lovers.